This is a quick review of the AIM Surplus 43, 43X 48 Compensator. I'm going to give the pros and cons as I see them, as well as just some general observations I have about it. Um, first, with the pros, it's relatively inexpensive. It cost me $40 at the time I purchased it. You are going to need an extended threaded barrel to mount it to. I also purchased that from AIM Surplus at the same time I purchased the initial compensator. And that was about $40 or $45. Um, the size and weight of the compensator is um, also really good in my opinion. It takes the 43X slide up to the length of the 48. So that's going to help out with holster fitment. Uh, it's not too long to where it's going to cause issues, although the profile of the nose of the compensator is slightly different than a 48, whereas a 48 is more beveled. The compensator is more squared off, so that in and of itself can cause you issues with holster fitment. Uh, the weight, as I said, is made out of aluminum, so it's not going to make it prohibitive to as far as like additional weight for carry, should you choose to carry it. Um, performance it is a very good performer in my opinion it took a lot of the felt recoil out of the 43x with both standard pressure and plus p ammo and it also is a incredibly flat shooting uh, setup i've on the first compensator that i ordered from aim surplus i had about 500 rounds through it with no issues whatsoever i decided to swap out the front sights and um, so i had to remove the barrel on the compensator uh, i was extremely paranoid about the compensator backing off while shooting so i put blue loctite on the threads of the barrel as well as on the set screw threads so i had to use heat to remove it and in doing so i overheated the compensator um, anytime you overheat aluminum, it affects the structural integrity of it, weakens it significantly. So when I reinstalled it and went to go confirm my sights were on that I had just installed, I uh, got about another 100 rounds through it shooting some plus P rated Winchester service grade ammo. And it started to deform the front of the compensator significantly. So I uh, immediately quit shooting it after that 100 rounds. And when I got back home, I removed it, ordered another one. And we're gonna see how well this new one holds up. The new one, I have currently have about 250 to 300 rounds of standard pressure ammo. Um, and I also have about 100 rounds of the Winchester service grade ammo. I'm gonna give it a lot more of the Winchester service grade ammo. Because it is rated plus P, it's traveling at uh, advertised muzzle velocity at 1,350 feet per second. And I kind of want to use and abuse it to make sure it actually is going to hold up in the long term. Um, so we'll see, see how that goes in the future. When it comes to the cons, um, starting out with the holster fitment, because like I said, the profile of the compensator is a little bit different than that of a 48. You can run into some holster fitment issues and I did have to modify a couple of the holsters that I have to work with the 43X and the compensator. Um, the Another con is just general aesthetics. The rear of the compensator where it mates up against the front of the 43X slide leaves a little bit to be desired. The 43X slide the nose of the slide is beveled whereas the back of the compensator is kind of squared off so it kind of leaves like a sharp ledge on there that can cause um, some snagging issues with with certain holsters that i've tried and used and the final con is it's loud it is stupid loud um I could see where if you were forced to use that in a self-defense situation without hearing protection that it, it may cause you some issues. Um, I don't know that I personally would feel comfortable carrying 
a compensated or ported pistol for self-defense because of that. Um, I fired this without earplugs in by mistake. One round was immediate ear piercing pain, um, instant ringing in my left ear. Didn't affect my right ear so much for whatever reason, but my left ear took the brunt of it. It's probably because I'm left eye dominant. So when I shoot, I tend to camp my head more looking this way. So I'd assume just the ear being forward. I don't know. But at any rate, um, I did not want to fire a second round without ear pro. That's for certain. Um, maybe if you're carrying the noise cancellation uh, earbuds like the Walker's Axles or Caldwell or whatever other brand is out there, you know, maybe it's not a big issue. But um, it's basically like having a freaking flashbang go off right in front of your face, you know, when you, when you shoot that. So that's that's pretty much it for the cons. General observations, uh, the first compensator, I, like I said, I put about 500 rounds through it of various ammo, uh, both the Winchester service grade and standard pressure, 115, 124, 147. Um, very solid performer uh, until I overheated it and ruined it. Um, and then I fired another 100 rounds through it and deemed it no longer safe. Um, the new compensator that I got on there, I've also fired the 115 grain CCI Blazer Brass, 124 grain Blazer Brass, 147 grain Blazer Brass, a bunch of this Turan, um, 115 grain Full Metal Jacket Turkish ammo, um, and then also I put a, in addition to that, I also put 100 rounds of that Winchester Service Grade through there. I intend to shoot a lot more of the Winchester service grade ammo through there just to kind of use and abuse it and make sure it's going to hold up over time. Um, so let's take a look at some holsters. This was a holster. I couldn't even tell you the brand of it. It's been so long since I ordered. I believe this was my first carry holster I ordered for the 48. Um, which I had prior to the 43X. And it was a eBay holster. Um, but I did have to come in here with a Dremel, open up the tip of it so that when the holster, when the gun went into the holster, it would, would not bind up. Because what was happening was the slide was stopping short and then the grip would push in, which you'll see on another holster. So, but now that I've open it up with a Dremel it does protrude a little bit to the point that the ports kind of are exposed a little bit so I'm a little concerned that if pants or whatever are cinched down too tight the holster is compressed it may catch on the lip of that so that is a little disconcerting but the Bravo concealment 48 holster works uh, extremely well with it no issues whatsoever it also works whether you have the original 48 or 43x frame versus the MOS frame with the rail so that's actually a, a pretty decent holster option as well um, this originally was a sidecar style holster from I believe it was black scorpion or ghost tactical something uh, another but goes in there because it doesn't have a molded front end um, it was just kind of already a squared off, so there's no modification required to make that compensator fit in there, as well as the Blackhawk Serpa holster, which I believe was originally designed for the Shield EZ series of pistols. It just so happened to work with 48s, and uh, yeah, fits in there, locks up, no issues, other than the fact that it's a Serpa holster. Okay, so here's the 43X. MOS slide back on the MOS frame and I have a couple different light bearing holsters this is a simple carry gear uh, brand holster purchased off of eBay and it's an outside the waistband holster and most of the time it fits in there just fine however I don't know if that's noticeable or not but when i seated that in there the slide stopped moving and then the frame kept going 
So I have used this at the range and in an IDPA match. And there, if you jam it in that holster hard, um, or if you come into it on the draw stroke hard, and you go to pull it out of there, it is super, super stiff, like there's something catching up in the ports and it's snagging coming out. So if, when I use it uh, for competition, I have to be real mindful not to overseed it and then also when i'm trying to get to the holster quickly or the gun to the out of the holster quickly i gotta be mindful not to jam my hand down on it when i go to draw it my typical carry holster um i carry the original uh, 48 slide on the 43x mos frame so that i can have a light bearing uh holster setup so this is a code 4 defense holster uh, made for the TLR 7 sub and this one's kind of hit or miss with the compensator whether so right there it just jammed up didn't go in and if I work it in there I can get it get it to go all the way in it's a lot more of a pain in the butt when I'm actually have the have the holster on uh, my person and even then the frame goes forward while the slide comes out of battery because it's stopping just ever so much short so getting it out of the holster is not such a big deal as it is just getting it to fully seat in the holster sometimes so that's pretty much it for the holster compatibility issues that i've had with it uh, like i said i don't intend on carrying the 43x with with the compensator as my part of my everyday carry gear despite how well this performs um unless maybe i do get some of those noise cancellation earbuds and just wear them all the time maybe then i would consider it but i think it would uh just make me too apprehensive to use it and i'm worried about it causing uh flinching as well as um often with my wife and kids i don't i don't know what that would i know it sucks being on the range shooting next to somebody that's got a compensator on a rifle and i'd imagine the pistol's not going to be any different you know as it uh blasts a lot of that concussive force out to the sides um directing at where they may be versus you know just straight out the front so but all in all, um, I really like it for, for what it is. I intend to use it in um, future IDPA matches. I actually have one coming up this weekend. So um, I plan on shooting it there and continue to use it and uh, see how it goes. I'll uh, post more updates as I get higher and higher round counts through it. Um, that, that's pretty much it. Thanks for watching.